Hi everyone, it's Allison from the Protocase Designer team. In one of our other tutorials, I showed you how to make basic cutouts in Protocase Designer. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the face editor to design your own custom cutouts. I'm also going to talk about the cutout library and how you can make use of the existing cutouts in hardware. Okay, so let's get started. For today's tutorial, I'm going to use a U-shape enclosure. Let's choose a face to edit and we'll go into the face editor. Turning on the grid will help you ensure that your cutouts are aligned and they're also the proper size. So we're going to remain in cutout mode. And the first way you create a custom cutout is by using the path tool. I'm going to create a hexagon as an example. So you're going to click on path under create draw. Then you're going to click to define your first point and continue clicking to create your shape. The last point will need to be at the same spot where you started in order to close the cutout. When your cursor goes to that first point, the cutout will automatically show up. This is how you know you've connected the line. So you can also create custom cutouts using arcs. Arcs are curved lines. Before we get started on creating another cutout, I want to just show you something. First, have the path tool selected. If you look on the right hand side of your screen, underneath the context help and tool tips, you'll see there's two side by side buttons labeled line and arc. You can switch between line and arc easily by either clicking on the button you want, or you can even save yourself a click by using the hotkeys L and A. So while you're in path mode, you can press L on your keyboard to draw a line, and press A on your keyboard to draw an arc. So right now we're in line mode. I'm going to start drawing a cutout with straight lines. Now I'm going to press A on my keyboard to switch to arc mode. I'm going to draw another line. Notice that it looks straight when I'm connecting the first point with my end point. To make it an arc, I need to drag my cursor in the direction I want the arc to be. Release your mouse when the arc is your desired angle. You can then create another arc or create another line by clicking the line button in the context bar. Click one final time to complete your cutout. Okay, so now that we're done our cutouts, you can click the green check mark to accept your changes. Now you can see all of the cutouts you've made on your enclosure. Protocase Designer has a massive library of cutouts and fasteners, and you can easily access and place common cutouts on your enclosure. Okay, so for this example, let's add a couple DB9 connectors to this face. So we're going to go to the face editor again. Once we're in the face editor, go to Cutout Library and Fasteners, then we're going to click on Cutout Library. And we're going to select connectors from the menu and find the DB9 cutout. Okay, so now we'll place a couple of those connectors on the face that we're editing. So in addition to cutouts, you can also place various hardware items on your enclosure to accommodate various components. Protocase Designer also allows you to place things such as self-clinching fasteners, which are also otherwise known as PEMs. This includes nuts, standoffs, and studs. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to add a few standoffs to the bottom of this enclosure for the purpose of mounting a PCB. If you want to get an inside view of your enclosure, on the right-hand side of your screen, under the View menu, you can select Show Hide Parts, and then choose the parts you wish to hide. So I'm selecting the bottom of my enclosure, and then going to the Face Editor. Using the same Cutout Library and Fasteners menu, I'm going to select Fasteners this time. I'm going to click on Standoffs, then choose 4-40 Thread Standoffs. Okay, so now I'm going to place the standoffs where I want them. And I'm going to click the green check mark under Changes once I'm happy with where I placed them. Okay, so now we're back in the 3D viewer, and you can look at all the cutouts and fasteners that we've placed. Okay, so now let's review the cutout library. Protocase Designer offers a cutout library that allows you to create, edit, delete, and organize single or groups of cutouts, hardware, and graphics on your enclosure. Okay, so we're going to go back into the face editor again. To access the cutout library, you need to go to Cutout Library and Fasteners in the top menu and select Cutout Library. So as you can see, there's a whole list of categories. You can click on a category using the circle icon to the left of the category name to expand the list, and then click on the desired cutout to view more details. So let's review all of the buttons in the cutout library interface. Clicking on place item will allow you to place the item on the face of your enclosure. 
clicking on New Item will open an editor that's very similar to the Face Editor. And this is where you can create your own custom cutout to add to your personal library section of the cutout library. Let's jump in and create a new cutout. I'm going to create a new cutout which will also include a printed graphic. First, I'm going to enter a few details about the item. This is so you can keep track of all the cutouts that you create. Okay, so now I'm going to create my custom item. I'll add a circle cutout and then two rectangles to create a unique connector. Now I'm going to trim it to create one merged cutout. And you can also add graphics at this portion, so I'm going to add a circle graphic around the cutout. Okay, now that I'm happy with everything in my cutout, I'm going to click the green check mark to accept the changes to save it. Okay, so now that we're back to the cutout library interface. The next button you see is called Edit Item. This will open the editor similar to what we were just working in. This is where you can edit any item that you've created. You can also edit any item that's in the cutout library, but don't worry, you won't be editing the original. Protocase Designer will create a copy of any cutout in the library, which allows you to adjust it to your specific needs and then rename it to be your own unique cutout. Okay, so let's use the Edit Item button to edit the cutout we just created. I'm just going to move it around slightly to give you an idea of how you can do it. Okay, so we're back to the cutout library interface again. The new category button is pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to create a new category to allow you to organize your individual items by grouping them together. This is helpful if you're working on a few projects at once and you want to keep them organized. So all you need to do for this part is just create a name for your category to get it started. I'm going to create a sample folder called Allison's Cutouts. So you can then move items into your new category by dragging them under the category name. Okay, so the next button you see is called Update with New File. This allows you to select an item that was previously exported to replace the current item. And then the next button you see is called Delete. This removes an item from your library. Just to show you an example, I'll delete this cutout that I just created. Okay, so the Export to File button is handy for exporting an item, which you could also use later to load back to the library. And in this case, you would use the Load Item from File button. This is especially helpful if you want to open an item on another installation of Protocase Designer. The last button I want to highlight with you is called the Upload to Online Library. This button gives you the ability to upload your item to the online library, which allows others to use it. I encourage you to use this feature if you've created an item that you feel would be helpful for others. So that's a general rundown of how to use the Face Editor and Cutout Library to design and use cutouts. If you have any questions or need additional help, please feel free to check out the Protocase Designer Wiki, which you can find on our website, protocasedesigner.com. Also, feel free to email info at protocasedesigner.com. We're here to help. Cheers, everyone. Happy designing.